Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Clement, I'm the founder of Clem Designs Technology. We are web developing a company based in Asaba Delta State. Um, we've been programming videos, uh, educating people on how to build uh, online streaming uh, contents. So today I'm going to show you how to design a professional website with uh, WordPress. So WordPress is one of uh, the content management system application you can use to build uh, a professional website. So today we are going to go through it to show you how you can do this on your own. So here is the name of our company, Claim Designs Technology. This is our website, this is our email, so this is our phone number. So first of all, before you can build a website, you have to get a domain name and a hosting attached to it so that uh, the World Wide Web can be able to find your website. So, to do this, uh, there are some hosting companies that you have around. First of them, uh, one of them is uh, globalhosting247.com. So it's a Nigerian-based uh, web hosting company that they, they can help you to host your website on the internet. So do that. You first of all click on this, this is the website. So if I want to visit this website, then I will have to like open the, the link to go through the website. So this is the website, the globalhosting247.com. So here, first of all, you need to select your domain name. What is your domain name? A domain name is a, a, a URL that uh, your website can be found. It's a uniform that represents your, your website. You understand? So meaning like, uh, for example, I want to host a website. I can call it something like uh, claim. I can call it something like claim network claimnetwork.com so claimnetwork.com is a domain name you understand so that I want that's what I want to use to build my website so I can first of all make a search for it to know whether it's av if it's available or it has been used by someone else so to do that I will click on this place that says I'm not a robot so they give me some verification uh, I think it's traffic lights I select all the traffic light that I have there I will verify so success so I can now click on that search button you see now they tell me that a claim designs a claim network sorry claim network dot com is a word available so that's it so if I want to register this a domain I can just click on the add to cart then I can check it out here they are now telling me that uh, I need to add a hosting to it so I can add a hosting hosting for like one year so I can click on this place that says a uh, click to add then these are the hosting plans they have this one there uh, is for basic plan basic plan with this one gig space and 10 gigabyte of a uh, bandwidth then free SSL certificate and other layer uh, uh, requirements needed for this hosting so these are all their features so to do that you can click on order but you can also if you want to do a good website that will stand you can look for higher plans something like uh, a standard F plus or premium plus so it depends on what you want to do so here I will let's say I'm ordering for this uh, low plan for this training I can click on it then I can uh, continue here look at the domain is already added to my card I can click on continue to check out so after that now they will have to process it for me you understand process the domain I will have to make some payment to purchase the domain so after you have purchased the domain the next thing for you to do is uh, to log in into your domain cpanel so they, they once you set it up they are going to send you 
a username and a password of which you are going to use uh, to log in into the uh, C panel. So let's say for example I have bought some domains before so I don't want to buy a new one again. So let's say I'm making use of the ones that I have already bought before. So these are the domain names that I have here. Um, let's say I want to use mine. I can use mine for this uh, training. So that's it. Then here I can now log in into the control panel of uh, my domain name. So here now they brought me to the control panel of uh, this domain. So here I can be able to view the, the website that I want to view. So uh, excuse me, let me come back back in a minute all right welcome back um, sorry I went to receive a call so let's uh, get started so let's continue so what do you need to do now after you have logged in into your control panel this is your control panel for that uh, hosting that you purchased so all the applications that you need to work with are already on the C panel like WordPress uh, advanced catch then you also have the Presta, Presta Shop, Joomla, PHP BB and all they are already inside there the C panel so the one you want to work with you work with that so here I'm going to upload uh, my WordPress fresh so I'll click on that uh, file manager that is the file manager inside this file, file manager I'm going to locate uh, a folder that is called uh, the public HTML. Look at the public HTML here. Click on it. Then already inside the public HTML, already have some site existing on the server. But here I'm going to install this uh, site that we want to build now under a subdomain. So the subdomain uh, uh, folder I want to use is called Tutor. So it's a tutorial. So I will open that uh, Tutor. As you can see, it's empty. So what I'm going to do is to upload my WordPress. So WordPress, you can download the WordPress online. You go to Google search for WordPress. They can give you a WordPress there. Eh? You download it. So what you need to do is to click on this uh, one that says uh, select files. Inside that select file environment, I will look for my WordPress. I think I already have it on my desktop. So I select the WordPress. I'll click on open. So. I'll, I'm uploading the WordPress right now so you see it's already been uploading to my server so I'll just wait for the system to upload this WordPress so I'll pause this video a while all right so sex you see that our WordPress has been uploaded to the server so you see now when we go back to the file manager environment which is here I can now let reload and see my WordPress so the next thing I'm going to do is to extract this WordPress to install it right click on click on it click on the WordPress got it and right click on it click on extract then click on extract files then after you have succeeded in extracting it click on close and reload the, the folder so inside the folder you see the wordpress folder double click on this wordpress folder to open it so click on select all to select all the files inside right click and click on it move so inside this place is you are going to move it into in, inside the folder tutor so remove clean from clean this wordpress here watch me closely clean the wordpress here then it should now remain at the HTML, public HTML the folder slash at the tutor. So move it inside the tutor folder. So you see that all the files have been moved. Then click on up, up at one level to come back. So when you come back now, you already have it inside that the tutor the folder. So delete this WordPress folder up here. It's no longer needed. 
so you confirm it then the next thing for us to do is to create a database that we will use to configure this uh, WordPress because WordPress works with database so it's a, a database driven a website so to do that you go back to your main control panel look at it here then click on my SQL databases click on it so when you click on it click then you are going to create a folder let's call it tutor for example I can call it tutor then I'll click on create database then I'll go back here I have to add a new user already these are the current uh, database that I already have on the on the server so the ones are using creating different website that I have on the server so this new one we are going to create now I'm still going to give the database a username of the that tutor that same tutor then I will choose a password for this I can choose a password so you are choosing that uh, database uh, password so choose a password here the password can be anything that you can remember so I will click on create user then I'll click on go back after that I'll have to add this uh, user into my database by clicking on a uh, user the one I'm will select here is the tutor and also the database is tutor as well so after that I click on add then I'll click on this that says uh, all privileges so I'm granting all the privileges on that database so I'm going to make changes after that you see now I have successfully uh, added uh, that tutor privilege on the database tutor so after that now I'll click on go back and I'll click on my main control panel so that's that's done so um, what I'm going to do now is uh, okay I have to grab the name of that database that I just created I think uh, this is the database let's look for it tutor look at it here so I'll grab the database name here I'll grab it then the next thing I'm going to do is to is to configure it on my WP con configure the uh, slash sample so this one first of all you rename this uh, WP configure that sample inside uh, the public HTML tutor where we uh, copy the website uh, and I said the WordPress files so here I'm going to rename it I will claim only this uh, dash sample only it then it will now be WP dash config dot PHP so I'm going to rename it so after that now I'm going to edit click on this uh, WP config dot PHP right click on it and click on uh, edit so you click on edit the next thing for you to do is say look for where it says the database uh, name so the database this place is say the database name click clean only this uh, database uh, that underscore name underscore here clean only that then uh, this code inside there should remain the way it is so you paste in your database name which is uh, this then also do the same after the database username because the database name and the database username are the same thing so I'll paste it there then the password I choose there I have to enter the password here so that is my database uh, password so the next thing I'm going to do here there is a place that says uh, uh, this uh, after this phrase, look at it after this uh, at link here. Copy from this HTTP to where it says uh, sort. You understand? So copy from here to here, then copy it. 
paste it on your browser by opening a new tab on your browser paste it here and click on enter then it will open it for you then highlight everything inside by and copy it highlight and copy and after that now come back here that's this first uh, def, uh, define to the last define everything in, in there highlight everything and paste that uh, script that you copied so after that now that's all that's all you need to do so click on save changes so after that now you are going to close it then open a close all these ones close these ones so after after that open a new a new tab type in uh, the name of uh, your website which is the uh, which is uh, i think i use tutor tutor dot clam designs tech net so i'm using this tutor dot clean design stack dot net here because uh, this tutor is a subdomain under this uh, clean designs technology so i'm going to click on enter then i'll click on continue to install the wordpress so i can call this a uh, clean designs tech uh, web training a website uh, training then I will choose a username you can use my username as admin then I choose a password you can see admin okay can okay and hide it I want to choose a password that I can remember I want to choose a password So that's it. So after that, now I'm going to enter my email, uh, use an info at uh, my site.com or whatever. I can use the uh, info at uh, claim designs tech dot sorry dot net. So that's it. That's my email. So after that, I will click on install WordPress. Sex, you see, we succeeded in installing the WordPress. So, the next thing to do now is to log in into the WordPress. Then, first of all, I want this uh, WordPress uh, website to have the uh, security. When you check here now, you see that uh, there is no security. See, connection not uh, is not uh, secured. So, I want to put that security by going in going back to the database. Uh, 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 going back to the uh, database uh, environment so the mysql database environment to so do that i'll click on this uh, home button here i will have to click on the php my admin Then the next thing I will do, I will look for that database we created, which is Tutor. We got Tutor here. Then look for options. That is WP options. Click on it. Then here that says the site URL and the home URL. Click on edit. Then here, click put an X after the p here and that is that security so save it then do the same thing to the home url so i will click on home url edit i put that same x put the s then i click on save by clicking on go so that was it. So I have added uh, that security. So when I come back here now, I will reload. I will have the security that I want. So you see now that that security is there now. You understand? So 
you see it's now secure their connection so that is how you add their security to your wordpress website so after that now i have to log in with my password and username and username is the admin then i'll have to choose my password i'll click on login wow you see now we are now on our wordpress website so our wordpress website has been uh, successfully installed so you see now so they give us some updates like uh, they already have a wordpress uh, 5.2.2 so that is the new release so we can do some updates here like first of all updating the plugins clicking on it and click on update plugins then the next thing so i have succeeded in updating the plugins the next thing i will still click on that update i have to update the teams so the teams i'll select all the teams here and click on the update teams wow so you see now i have also updated the teams so there is only the uh, WordPress. I don't want to update that uh, WordPress uh, two point. That's uh, that 5.2.2. So I'm going to be using the one I just installed here. But if you want to update yours, you can click on this uh, place that say "Please uh, update now." So once you click on "Please update now," I have to update it for you. So that's it. So the next thing now is to visit our website to know how it looks. So I'll click on this place that says uh, "Claim Design Step." Okay web training so website training so i'll click on visit site let's see how it looks wow wow our site is okay it's square you understand so the next thing i'm going to do now is um is uh, to upload uh, a team that i want to use for this website so i want to give it a, a nice look want to give it a nice design so what i will do i'll still go back to the dashboard and in wordpress website they have the front end and the back end so the back end is where you control the site and the front end is that same place that we visited um, which is a tutor tutor a claim design stuff there so that's it so this, this is the front end where all users uh, see where people can visit and this is the back end where you can control the site as the administrator so the next thing I'm going to do is to upload a, a team so I have to click on appearance teams so I will have to add a new team you know I want to change the look of our website so these are default teams they are not too good for you to build a website so you have to buy a team to buy a team you can go down to uh, uh, code Canyon in code canyon code canyon.net. So this is where you can buy teams. You can buy teams from here. I will also put the the URL of that uh, website on the description below. So I have to put it here for you so that in case uh, you want to go through that website, you can go through it. Look at the, the website here and we build it for you okay so this is the name of the website so you can go there to buy teams so that's it then let's say we want to purchase a teams here so the next thing that we're going to do is uh, look for wordpress as in wordpress here uh, these are categories of a uh, wordpress uh, they have you understand like wordpress team which is a uh, wp teams wp means wordpress click on the WP teams you will see the teams they have they have uh, all categories you understand like um, corporate you want to build a corporate website you can download a corporate team there creative blog and magazine e-commerce website so they have different teams from uh, different categories you understand so these are the prices of the teams they have you understand so 
you can check one of them like this uh, avagda this avagda is a team is a multi-purpose team so you can check it out by viewing the the demo you understand so this is the demo so this is how the it's uh, the regular license regular license means you can use it to view only one website but if you are looking for a standard a standard uh, license meaning that you can use it to build multiple sites this is the price there about uh, two thousand hundred and fifty dollars so you pay in dollars you understand so if you want to be using it to build a uh, multiple website you can buy this here but in case you don't have uh, the, 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 the cash to do this then you can also contact me we're going to give you that same pro well that's a pro team pro team that you can use to build millions of websites as you want you understand at a multiplier rate and not paying in dollars you pay in naira and also we are going to do it for you at a very cheaper rate so we can give you different type of teams you can use for different websites so like when you check here now you see that this is the structure of that team you understand so this is the structure um, of the team so you can go through it so when you build your own this is how this you have to appear so you have to look for check one of their demo um, these are their demos uh, is their demos check out this demo to know how it looks like uh, so that's it so okay look at their demos here these things that uh, you are seeing here are demos of the site so that's it so let's say i want to i already have a team i want to use um let's say i got some teams right here uh, let me check the one i want to use uh, we have uh, many teams so if you want to buy teams from us you can buy from us to build your professional website so um, let's see got some teams here um, but I'm looking for a nice one I'm gonna use okay let's say there is a one I have here which is bingo so let's say I want to use this bingo um, I will do this by going down to clean this place close this one is ready to buy the teams so I'll go back to my dashboard I'll click on the plus new guys add team click on upload teams you browse to select the teams think the name of the team is bingo um, select the bingo uh, bingo 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 So I'll look for it. Okay, look at the bingo. I select it. I click on open. I'll click on install now. So you can also have free teams here yeah, look at all these are free teams but uh, the reason why I don't make use of free teams is because uh, there are some kind of uh, junk files uh, there like there are some things that you cannot change on the teams like uh, footer code le other links that will be linked to other website uh, which is not related to your website and also kind of a uh, uh, regular update uh, disturbance and all that is the reason why I don't use free teams. So when you buy your own team, you can make use of it the way you want. So I think, um, uh, okay, I have some errors here. I think uh, it's from uh, the network. Let me see if that team installs. Um, check if the team installs. Because I think I'm having network problems. So it didn't install. So what I will do. Instead of uh, wasting time here, I'll go down to my main control panel to do this. I'll click on files. Then I'll have to click on uh, my tutor. Okay, first of all, open the, the 
public HTML I'll click on my tutor folder look at the tutor folder here and I'll click on WP that content I'll click on teams then I'll have to click on upload up there I'll select the one I want to upload um, advert uh, works that is the name of the folder where I have that team on my desktop open it the one I want to uh, add is a bingo in bingo so I'll select the bingo you understand so I'll upload it so it's now been uploading to my server Loading the bingo. So, um, succeeded in uploading that uh, bingo uh, team. So the next thing I'm going to do is to extract it so that I can be able to install the team. So it's success, you know, complete. When you show you the green sign means that it's succeeded in uploading it so i'll close off here then here i'll have to reload uh, this the bingo so i will have to extract it by clicking extract extract file so that's just all you need to do so that's it the next thing i'm going to do now is to close off uh, this one i don't need it anymore um here yeah, can still close here um, so I'll have to go back to my dashboard which is uh, the admin area of the website so I will reload this place that uh, team environment you see now I already have the, the bingo so this is the bingo so to do this now to activate it I'll click on activate wow succeeded in activating my bingo so there are some plugins that it works with so to upload these plugins I'll click on this first tab here to upload all the plugins then bulk action click on install then click on apply so it's installing those uh, plugins for me so just wait in a second you see that uh, the plugins will all be installed to the website to enable that uh, team that we bought to take uh, effect on our website so that's it so i'll pause this video for a while for the installation of those plugins to complete welcome back you see the plugins are already complete you understand so I'll click on a dash dashboard then the next thing that we're going to do now is to activate them so I'll click on a begin to activate plugins um, click the first one click on book caption click on activate and click on apply so it's activating the plugin so success so that's it the next thing I'm going to do now is uh, to check my website. You see, when I go back to the website now and reload, that you see that uh, the website uh, looks has uh, changed. So you see now the website look how the word changed. So the next thing I'm going to do now is uh, to start uh, adding uh, some changes to this website and to make it look more beautiful. So the next thing I will do now is to first of all add a logo to do this. I have to click on dashboard I will click on uh, this place that says bingo options when the bingo option opens there are some settings I will have to do here um, here first of all I have to change my header logo so I want to put a logo here this place that says Eclam Designs Tech, tech uh, Website uh, Training so and this uh, tagline here that says uh, just another WordPress website I don't want it that's so what I will do now is uh, to go here back to the dashboard um, where it says um, header option 
after the header options, I have to click on logo options. So inside the logo options, I have to select a logo. Look at the logo dimension, which is 300 by 90. So I will check. I will select uh, some logos I already have here. About to work and check uh, for my logo. So you can design a logo to use for your website. Um, if you also want to learn more about graphic designs, you can also contact me to give you a training on that. Uh, we also have a videos for for that so click on it then I have to op open it I will upload it to my website the next thing I will do now is to select the logo after selecting the logo I'll have to have that same logo for this place it says logo layer retina so I'll have to upload it that same one select it and uh, for the mobile logo i also do the same thing select it yeah so that's it so that's it after that now you have to click on save changes uh, it's not saving it so success so when i come back now reload you see that uh, i have my logo right here without those um, jargons there before so you see our website is taking shape the next thing I'm going to do now is to start uh, adding a post. So I want to use this website for a blog. You know, like a blog is where you go down to read articles. You know, like people like uh, like KG them. They started this blogging uh, uh, earlier. You know, so they have made a lot of money from it. So what I'm just teaching you here now is how to you know start making your own body from website design and also creating blogs you understand so once you are a web designer you can also design a perfect blog for yourself and start marketing your products and also you know if you are a kind of person who like uh, updates like news and happenings you know you can start your blog immediately and start making your money so what I'm going to do now is to start showing you how to add a blog post you know let's say we want to start adding a blog post but before that we have to make our website uh, look more clean so this hello world stuff and all that i don't want it so first of all i will have to change that then also like at uh, the header option you can also add some things on the header option by clicking on it you understand so you can change the background color whatever you want to change you can change it here then um, if you want to add this breaking news because we want to turn it into a blog site so I can change sh uh, let's do some settings here I want it to be um, on blog you understand even I can also add it to pages now it's here now I see uh, breaking news or latest update so you know what to call it so let's say I want to call it a latest update uh, I can call it latest updates it's it latest latest uh, updates latest news or latest updates so you can call it what you want to call it so that that's that I want to after that now have to save uh, changes so the next one I'm gonna do now is um I want to start uh, adding uh, my blog post. Uh, to do that, click on post. So that hello world, this one we've seen here, I told you I don't like it, so I'm gonna trash it right here. So I'll click on it, I click on ball caption, move to trash. So I don't want it anymore, so I have to trash it by clicking on apply. So the next thing now is uh, to begin to grab some news fields. So let's say, um, uh, let's say, uh, let's say Nigeria entertainment, entertainment, uh, entertain. Oh, sorry, entertainment. Uh, updates so I'm searching it on Google so get some entertainment updates on Google 
Dicer from Google. So to do this, um, I can look for some blogs online, you know, to grab some news and all that, you know, like, you know, I'm gonna make a good website here. So, uh, wow, so these are updates. So you see, all these ones are people's blog. So your own blog, by the time you finish up, you can also get something like this. So let's say, ah, oh, Big Brother, Nigeria. So what the Jazzy Le, what another said about uh, Termas accent. So let's say I want to put this update on my blog. So what I'll do now, first of all, grab the, the headline. This is the headline. You understand? Grab it. So to do this, I have to click on add new. Go back to my own dashboard. I'll click on add new post. Have to grab it. So I have to paste it on this on this uh, you say enter word title. Say enter title here. I'll put in that headline there. So then the next thing now is to grab the main updates. That is the main article. So this is the article. I think uh, oh, uh, this, uh, this one uh, you are seeing here are uh, adverts. So I'll grab only the articles to do this. I have to grab this where the article starts. So I'll grab everything under it. I'll grab everything about the article. So that this way it stops. This way it stops. So I copy it. Then I have to paste it here. So it can also be your own particular news or whatever you want to add there. You can add there, but just showing you what to do. So I'll remove all this uh, image uh, breakage uh, here for those advert there. So I don't want that. So I want to declare page. So I'll delete all this uh, image breakage here. Yeah. So I'll. Then I also have to delete all this, all this image breakage, for this add part. So I delete it. Then all this. Oh, sorry. I have to. Uh, okay, this is uh, my record uh, message. So I have to delete all this share share stuff. You know, I don't want all this kind of nonsense. Even this link, I can change this link if I want to. If I want to change it. I can change it to my own website link you know make it more I have to change this link here now to claim design stack so that uh, they would take me off from my website so I still remain on my website um, next so I can think at Twitter so you understand so I'll link it there so that's it. Then the next thing is to grab the image, you know, this little coin here. I put here, I have to grab her. Um, grab the, her image. Uh, and save her image to my desktop. Um, yes, I have to save her image to my desktop. Uh, I can call it a girl, for example. So that after that now I will come back to my dashboard. Um, first of all, add uh, a category where this uh, post will fall into. Another category environment like okay first of all tag I can call it an uh, entertainment, entertain, entertainment. So that uh, I'll click on add. You know. Then the next thing is. Um, Add a category for this. Uh, look for where you have the category option. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. They don't have any category here, so they use that tag to represent the category. So that's it. The next thing now is to add the featured image. That featured image with the one we download. Click on the display that says set featured image. I will upload it from my computer. Um, this place that says a uh, big that said on my desktop the image is a big girl for example so um, I open it upload it to my website 
so I will click on set featured image that's it then I have to choose a kind of sidebar that I want for this if I want them to also share comment on it they can share comment by leaving it on default option then the next thing I'm going to do now is to set uh, the sidebar option then it's a default sidebar um, the position of the sidebar can be at the right hand side by clicking on this right hand side here this one this last one then the next thing I'm going to do now is to, to select a category so I have not added any category here before so um, in a minute I will show you how to add that category but first of all let us publish uh, our post So our post has won't be published. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to create that category. I'll click on categories. I will add a new category like blogs. I'm um, sorry, entertainment. Entertain. Entertainment. I will click on. I will add it here. Let's see, add a new category. And I'll add another one like sports. If I want sports, let's say sports. Add the category. That's it. So I have two categories here, like the entertainment and the sports. So that's a post, first post we made. So I'm going to add it under the entertainment industry. So which is this uh, big uh, brother Africa post. So. Listen, I'll click open that post. I'll select the category now. Select the category now. Uh, the category. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, the category option is not. Uh, enabled here but we already had added a tag so it will still show under that same category so that's that's just it so let's leave it the way it is so i wanted to select the primary category but it's not showing up so leave it the way it is so the next thing i will do now is to update that uh, post then the next thing i will have to do now is to select a uh, sports news so i'll do for a sports news as well have latest let me see if they have any kind of um, spot latest here yes yes I think I found one the latest uh, for spots so I'll do now is um, copy the headline copy it then I have to go back close these ones don't need this one for now so I have to add a new post by clicking on add new I've added the title uh, it's a, which says uh, Frank uh, Lampard is appointed as um, new Chelsea manager so I have to do that then the next thing I will do now is to copy the details so these are all the details I, from here brown Okay, think of this where the ends. So I think here they have a video here, but the video is no longer available. So I have to copy only that articles, paste it here. The next thing I have to do is to remove all this. And also, I don't like the way this uh, thing is uh, pulled here. I don't like it. So. I'll have to make sure that I unboard it. Don't like it, so I unboard it. So leave it the way it is now. Uh, so set. Can okay, put this one down. Uh, that's it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to also set the featured image. Uh, what is the name of that man? I don't want to make use of this image here because of this ninja dot com whatever they had here so i have to look for this uh, man's photo on google so i'll copy the name of the man which is a uh, frank uh, lampard so 
I will have to paste it on Google search for great. So, okay, look at the man's photo. So I can grab some photos here. Um, yeah. So these are some of his photos. Choose a nice one. So I'll have to choose this one, like this one. So I'll view the image. Uh, wow. So I have to save the image to make use of it. So uh, I'll use this image now to replace, uh, to serve as uh, the featured image. So select the featured image. I'll upload it from my desktop. I think I'll uh, have Frank. Um, Frank Lapa 2000 and okay yeah that's it. so that's it so um, uploading the image right now so I have to set uh, the feature the image so the featured image come up there so that's it so the category line I have to add uh, that same category before it's gonna be on that tag, I will choose uh, sports. So I will add it sports. Uh, okay, so that then the sidebar, leave it at the left hand side. This one defaults. Uh, okay, that's it. So that's what I want. And the next thing now is to publish this post. So we already have two posts on, the, on our website. So the next thing is for us to do now is to create a page where we will fit in those um, um, posts. So I have to create a page. First of all, I have to create a page called uh, First one is gonna be home. So all this one here, I don't want them. Move them to trash. Sorry for that. Move them to trash. Then I'll have to click on add new. And I call it home. Sorry, home. There's no place like home. Yeah. Mm. Add it there. So um page title and choose uh, to show it or not so i don't want it to show like or hiding that post title so feature the crop image size whatever um, i leave it left sidebar right sidebar the default um so that's it mm, so leave it wait this so after that now i have to click on publish So that's it. That's it. So if I want uh, that, those two posts uh, now to show on that this home page, um, to do that, I have to go down to uh, my settings, go down to reading. On the reading, I'll have to select the static page to be home then the post page I can see make it that home so that uh, the two posts that I made already can come on that, that home page so after that now after I, I, de I do this is a one and this page will not be the same you understand? so okay they are warning me that, that, that I can use a static page and home page at the same time so I can use this so let's okay let's say we are adding another post another page I mean to say uh, but I don't think there is any need for that because it already works we already have it our front page and post page so but uh, you know it's good for you to ch uh, change the pages so what I would do now is to create a a menu for this um, go down to appearance click on menus uh, 
here I'll call it main menu uh, create so you see that that page that we created now that first page which is home is here I click on it I'll have to add it to menu you understand so I'll add it to menu or appear here this way to appear so that's it I will save it then my menu location click on menu uh, uh, manager location so we have to be on the main page leave it there then top page if I still want it to come up on the touch page I can put it on the top uh, navigation so if I also want to put it on the footer I can put it off canvas I can also put on off canvas so I'll save when I go back to my website now reload you see that uh, our website has changed so the menu is there now all these things will disappear in a minute so you see now that the menu is there now then though those page uh, those um, those uh, uh, post didn't show because uh, of that warning they gave to us I uh, have to can do it so I have to make um, create um, a new page so to do this I'll click on pages uh, and the next thing I will do is um, add a new page I'll call it something like latest call it latest latest so that's going to carry our latest uh, updates and all that so cyber default uh, I want to show the title I will hide the title so that's it and I want to select uh, a kind of uh, format of page layout I leave it for default so the next thing I will do now is uh, publish it. So after publishing it, the next thing I will have to do is um, go down to that same email settings. I'll click on reading. So I will change the post page now to lead text. You understand? So we we'll have to be two menus now. Then I will add that uh, menu latest to our main menu. So to do that, go down to menus. Then this latest, make sure you add it to our menu. So it's already on our menu after the home page now you see the latest so the next thing now is to do is to reload uh, our website see now we have two pages so when we click on the latest we will see those two articles so that's it that's nice you see now uh, you see now even that latest update uh, that we choose for the news is here so it will be displaying all the posts one after the other you understand so you see now Frank so it will be displaying it so that's it so when you check it you see that uh, Frank uh, Lampard appointed as a new Chelsea manager and also from the BB brother Africa so you see it's already into the blog you understand so the category is okay say it's uncategorized so let's see how we can face this category the category aspect of it um, go down to the post uh, you can check this quick edit so under the quick edit so this one this one now have to fall into this one have to fall into the spot why this one have to fall into uh, 
yeah oh okay it's, it's, you have to spot fall into sports so that's it so click on updates then for that that uh, big brother africa power and is entertainment so click on quick edit so make sure you remove it from one category uncategorize and put it on that uh, entertainment so you update so that does it so when you check now you see that uh, this one is under sports category this one is under entertainment category so when we come back now we we'll reload you see that I don't categorize they will vanish they will have they will have to be on their categories so that so you see now it's now under the entertainment category so this one now is under the sports category so that so then the recent post you don't see the recent post and all that so when you click on it you can be able to view the main post see now so that's it then here now people can leave a comment for you and you can share this blog on facebook on twitter so that's it so it's been going to make blogs you understand so like even related post will also be coming up coming down here you understand so that's it um so let's add that one more post before we call it a day so the next thing i'm gonna do now is uh um, I'm gonna do this here right now is um, click here, create a new pay, a post. Um, I have to add a new post as well. Then this time around, I'm still going to add a one more entertainment uh, uh, entertainment uh, post. Uh, something like. Uh, Okay, this one is a uh, Naira Mali. Uh, oh, another new thing. Okay, A is a musician too. Okay, this is a uh, entertainment industry. Okay, so let's say we are using this. So same thing, grabbing the headline, put it here. Paste it, and the next one is uh, grab the updates. The updates starts from here. Copy everything concerning the updates. So I'll copy it. Um, I'll put it here. You can write your own. Uh, blog articles just this one is just i'm just using it for a training so if i want to add my own blog articles i can write my own blog articles not to copy from what uh, someone has did there before so i'll have to but if you still need the latest news like this you can also go to some blog website and copy instead of you wasting time in writing and all that make sure that your blog is current you understand so when your blog is current people will always have to see your blog so what you need to do now is uh, grab the image as well view the image okay. save the image concept then I uh, uh, have to set the featured image save upload files Select it, you're going to be concerts. Concert, upload the concert image, then set it for the featured image. And the next thing now is to add the same position uh, so that. After that, now I have to click on publish. And uh, add it under the uh, category of uh, entertainment. So you see now it's on categorized. So click on that a quick edit. I have to be under entertainment. 
concern is under two categories which is uh, I have to uncheck that uh, uncategorized so that's it so update it so that's it so when you come back now you click on latest you see that uh, post as well wow it's making more sense and also when you add in the image make sure that you add the image that uh, covers up you know a larger image you understand so that's just it so you see now that we're already having our blog is already making sense so let's just also practice on how to add uh, some sidebar like add bar sidebars and all that when you check this people zone now you see that um, there are some adverts you know placed on the yeah so you can register for google absent advert google absent advert is where you can earn uh, more money and money from your website or from your blog so this is, is a type of advert so i will view this advert i can add this advert to my blog by saving it first uh, I'll go back to this place that says um, appearance on the dashboard I click on widgets under the widgets I will have to add the that um, advert I think uh, that advert is coming from um, Zenith Bank they asked you to open an account with them uh, that's it so can also grab the link of that uh, little advert there so I think uh, they should have a link for it so this is uh, the link so I have to grab uh, say copy a uh, link location so I uh, have to add it here the matters all these matters this that I don't want them I will remove it archive to remove it from one them from my blog I think my network is running slow today So I think it's been removed. So to add that ad box, I can add it to the image or I can add it to text. Grab this text, just drag it to that sidebar area. This place is a default sidebar, that's what we are using. You can add it after the recent post. You can call it Zenit. Sorry, 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 sorry. I call it uh, Zenit account. You understand? So I will add in the image by browsing it from the media. So uploading it. I will look for where I save it. Got it here. I've selected. Load. So it's still uploading. So I will insert it. Then I will link it up to that uh, yeah website pasting that link I copied before you see now it's linked to web uh, um, Zenith Bank website so I will save it so you know when you also apply for Google App Center adverts they pay you for advertising uh, their products on your blog so it's a way to make money through your blog so when you check now you see that um, that advert is already here on our website so you see 
website is our blog is coming up gradually so that's it so we'll stop it here today um by next time we meet we are going to learn uh, a different thing and what we are going to learn is um, is based on uh, how to it's based on how to add a payment uh, system to our blog and also how to add more posts to our blog and also how to make more money from our blog so thank you for watching um, you can ask any question in case of you have any question to ask this is our website this is uh, my email this is my phone number so you can ask any question and also if in case of you want to buy the teams you can call me then we'll give you some pro teams to use for your website so that's it thank you for watching goodbye